Hey guys, it's Anna and I have yet another sample haul for you. We are testing out Okja's Discovery set and their candy collection. Today I'm just gonna be sampling them on paper, but over the next week I will be trying them on and seeing if I like them. We're gonna start with the candy collection because I feel like that's the one I'm gonna have most luck with. For those of you who don't know, I'm very picky with fragrance and I don't like a lot of perfumes. So it's more likely that I'm gonna like the super sweet candy scented ones. This is weird packaging i don't like it hi it's anna from the future here you might be wondering why would you try on perfumes that you know you're not gonna like the problem is i don't know that i'm not gonna like them i think i'm not gonna like them and i'm like 99 sure i'm not gonna like them but i never know until i actually try them on there have been so many perfumes that i've smelled on paper and been kind of like mm, not sure if i like it and then i try it on and i'm like wow i really do like this so i'm just giving them a shot if they don't work out they don't work out and that's it so let's continue. First up is Sugar Rush. This is apparently supposed to smell like Swedish fish. I can kind of see it. We'll see how it smells on, but for now, it's pretty nice. Very, very sweet and very, very fruity. The main accords are fruity, sweet, cherry, fresh, vanilla, amber, and floral. Top notes are cherry, lingonberry, and apple. Middle notes, raspberry, pineapple, peony. Base notes, vanilla, amber, musk, and sandalwood. And so far, so good, you guys. Next is Cola Aroma, which obviously is supposed to smell like cola. The main chords are citrus, warm, spicy, white, floral, amber, and cinnamon. The top notes are lime, ginger, lemon, orange. Middle notes, jasmine, cinnamon, clove, nutmeg. Base notes, amber, sandalwood, and vetiver. I have a feeling I'm not gonna like this one. I hate it. I hate it. I don't like it. The ginger is strong in this one. Very, oh my God. I feel like all I can smell is ginger. I don't know, maybe when I try it on, I'll be super impressed, but for now, no. Next up is Pink Euphoria, which is supposed to smell like Skittles. Okay. The main accords are sweet, fruity, ozonic, caramel, cherry, aquatic, fresh, and vanilla. And the top notes are melon, citrus, sugar, middle notes, strawberry, cherry, raspberry, base notes, caramel, vanilla, and musk. This smells nice, but it's more Starburst than Skittles in my opinion. The melon is just really strong. Not bad though, so I'm excited to try it on. Next is Watermelon Jam, which is inspired by watermelon candy. I'm worried about this one because watermelon is not usually a scent I like. I was really sick once when I was a kid and I got a whiff of watermelon and it made me throw up and now I hate watermelon. The main accords are ozonic, aquatic, fruity, white floral, and fresh. Top notes are watermelon, green pear, middle notes, melon, jasmine, red berries, base notes, musk, sandalwood, cedarwood. It's not awful. Would I personally buy a full bottle of this? Probably not. It is very watermelon candy the adjacent. Meh, it's okay, it's fine. The next one I will actually not be trying because I have already tried it and I hate it. And that is Choco Break. I will read you the notes in case you were interested in getting it for yourself, but just know it's not for me. The main accords are woody, earthy, patchouli, warm, spicy, aromatic, chocolate, and sweet. Top notes are hazelnut caramel, middle notes chocolate, coconut, and base notes patchouli, cedarwood, vetiver, musk, vanilla. This is apparently supposed to smell like Kit Kats. Maybe Kit Kats are different in America because I don't get Kit Kats with this. I just get patchouli, cedar, vetiver, and musk. Yeah. This is super, super sharp and woody on me. I hate it. Actually, I feel like I'm kind of exaggerating. I don't hate it. I just don't really like it at all. Anyway, moving on. The last of the candy collection is peach rings. I feel like this is the one I have the highest hopes for. The main accords are fruity, citrus, woody, sweet, powdery, floral, white, floral, and musky. Top notes are peach, mandarin, orange, bergamot. Middle notes are red berries, osmanthus, apricot, and the base notes are cedarwood, jasmine, and musk. No, I don't like it. It's too woody. It's surprisingly like not that sweet. It's very fruity, but it's a very sharp fruity. Yeah, not really a fan. I think my favorite of the candy collection was Sugar Rush, but I'm gonna let you know if anything changes once I actually try them on. Now let's go through the discovery set. I'm worried about this. I'm worried about this. I don't think I'm gonna like most of them. First up is Torrid Day, which is supposed to be a dupe of Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. Bro, I hate these fucking things. They spray everywhere. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of tobacco in fragrances. It's just way too overpowering for me, and I feel like it won't be much different here. So the main accords are vanilla, warm, spicy, sweet, cacao, tobacco, amber. The top notes are tobacco leaf spices. The middle notes are tonka bean, tobacco flower, vanilla, cocoa, and the base notes are dry fruit accord and woods. Oh my god, wait. I actually like this. It smells kind kind of like honey. Wait, I did not expect to like this. I am actually shocked. Is it one of my favorite scents of all time? No, but like there's something very comforting about it. It's so warm and inviting. I'm shocked that there's no like honey. Maybe it's the dry fruit. I am excited to try this on. Wow. Next up is Sinful, which is supposed to be a dupe of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. I have tried Lost Cherry in the past and I'm kind of neutral about it. The cherry is just a little bit too sour for me and it's not sweet enough. The main accords of Sinful are Cherry, woody, sweet, almond, nutty, fruity, white floral, rose, aromatic, and floral. The top notes are cherry liqueur, cherry, bitter almond. Mid notes are cherry syrup. 
syrup, jasmine sandback, Turkish rose, base notes are sandalwood, cedarwood, and vetiver. It smells just like lost cherry. Lost cherry is not bad. It's just not feminine enough for me personally. I don't know, maybe this one will be sweeter on than lost cherry is. We shall see. Next up is Sweven, which is supposed to be a dupe of Baccarat Rouge 540. I've never actually smelled Baccarat Rouge, but I have smelled many dupes of it. The main accords are amber, woody, aromatic, fresh, spicy, balsamic, citrus, white, floral, sweet, warm, spicy, and animalic. The top notes are marigold, saffron, jasmine, orange, middle notes of ambroxan and Avernil, base notes of ambergris, cedarwood, and fir. The notes do worry me, but we'll try. The cap was so full of perfume and it spilled all over me. Oh my god. Well, okay, if that's what it smells like, I don't like it. On the paper, it smells okay. It's a little bit too floral for me, but that's what I expected. Whatever is on my hand, I don't like it. So far, it's my least favorite of the Discovery collection. Next is Morning Rain, which is supposed to be a dupe of Byredo's G Word Water. Looking at the notes for this, I'm worried. The main accords are fresh, spicy, woody, aromatic, citrus, warm, spicy, amber, powdery, balsamic, vanilla. Top notes are pepper, juniper, bergamot, lemon. Middle notes are pine needles, incense, orris root, and base notes are sandalwood, vanilla, amber. This is not gonna be the one, guys. Don't spray, please. Oh my God, bro, did you see that? Jesus Christ. These are the worst it can't ever. I don't wanna smell it. Okay, it's not as awful as I thought it would be, but I definitely don't like it. Like I would never buy this. I feel like this would smell nice on a man, but on me, no. I need all the sugar I can get. I don't know, we'll see. I don't hate it, so that's good, I guess. Next up is the Beekeeper, which is a dupe of Jo Malone's Nectarine Blossom and Honey. Yet another one that I am wary of because the main accords are green, aromatic, woody, earthy, white floral, and sweet. The top notes are green notes, pedigree, black currant. Middle notes are nectarine and black locust. And the base notes are vetiver, peach, and plum. Yay! It's different than I expected. It is very green, which I am not the biggest fan of, but there is like a hint of fruitiness. I still don't like it, but it's not the worst thing I've ever smelled. We're almost near the end. The next one is Blue Velvet, which is a dupe for Oud Satin Mood, I think. Correct. Okay, so the main accords are Rose, Powdery, Amber, Vanilla, Violet, Floral, Oud, Woody, and Malik. Top note is Violet, middle notes of Bulgarian Rose, Turkish Rose, and Laotian Oud, base notes of Vanilla and Amber. For those of you who don't know me, I don't like the smell of Rose, and I'm actually kind of allergic to it sometimes. So, I'm excited. <laughs> Ugh, I hate it. I can smell it. I hate it. Ew, it's all over my hands. Ew. No, it's just not for me. I hate it so much. I don't think it's one of the ones I'm allergic to because my nose isn't clogging up, but it's so much flower. I'm also just not the biggest fan of oud, so this whole thing is just not for me. Last but not least is Heaven Speak, which is an angel share dupe. The main accords are woody, sweet, warm, spicy, vanilla, cinnamon, powdery, amber, and aromatic. The top note is cognac. The middle notes are tonka bean, cinnamon, and oak, and the base notes are sandalwood, vanilla, and praline. I have a feeling I'm not gonna like this dupe compared to other dupes that I've tried. Okay, okay, okay. It's not bad. As of right now, just off of the paper, it is pretty similar to Angel Share, though that might change when I try it on. I have to hold it like this because my hands smell so strongly and it's interfering with my scent test. It is a little bit less fruity. I don't get that apple note that's pretty distinct in Angel Share, but there is something that's a little bit fruity. I just can't tell exactly what. The cinnamon is pretty strong, not too, too woody. I'm excited to try this. I was actually gonna try two of the candy collection today, but my hands smell whack. So I'm gonna send you over to future Anna, who is trying them on right now. Bro, what is this lighting? It's fine. We're just gonna move on. It's hopefully just gonna be like this today because it's cloudy and rainy and stormy. Today, I'm gonna try out two of the Oakcha candy collection. I'm starting off with Sugar Rush, and this was probably my favorite that I tried out of the candy collection. Will I spill it? Probably. So far, it smells great. I wouldn't say it smells exactly like Swedish Fish, but it is like candy adjacent. I feel like it smells a little bit more sour than Swedish Fish, but I'm not sure exactly what candy it would be. I don't know, whatever. We're gonna move on to Colorama. Coloroma. Oh my God, I hate it. It just smells like I took a lemon. I squeezed it over my arm and then I like sprinkled some ginger on there. Anyway, I'm gonna wear them over the day, see how long they last and get back to you. And then tomorrow I'll be trying two more of the Okja candy collection. Ignore the lighting right now. I don't feel like changing it. It's been maybe 10 minutes. The Coloroma just smells like ginger. Like that's it. If you like the smell of ginger tea, like just straight ginger tea with no sugar or anything, you might like this, but I don't. I like very sugary honey lemon ginger tea. So it's not for me. Anyway, I'll be back if I have anything else to say. So my final update of the day, Sugar Rush Fade within probably 30 minutes. Not impressive at all. Sorry, there was a giant feather just floating outside of my window. Okay, anyway. Cold aroma lasted about four hours, but I don't like it, so... That's that. Anyway, moving on to tomorrow. Hi, I know I look like shit. Don't say anything about it, okay? I didn't sleep last night and then I had to go to a doctor's appointment and I didn't feel like putting on makeup and now I'm just sitting around trying not to fall asleep. So let's try on perfume. <laughs> First, let's start with Pink Euphoria on this wrist here. Bro, these 
fucking decants are so stupid. It's all over my hands. Damn, this is a melon fragrance if I've ever smelled one. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of melon. It's fine. It's just not something that I would personally reach for. But if you like melon, I think you would like this. It's a little bit sweeter than like an actual melon, but it's still pretty spot on. Other than that, I don't get any cherry. I don't really get any musk. A little bit of sugar, yes. Maybe a little bit of raspberry. Caramel, no, and vanilla, no. Citrus, maybe a little bit. Next is watermelon jam. Please just don't get all over me. This one was not so bad. I look, one time my mom told me I look, <laughs> one time my mom told me I look like Uncle Fester and now I feel like I can see it. Anyway, let's try this. One person on Fragrantica said that this smells like Okja's Praise the Perfume. Literally not even a bit. The watermelon I don't like. It kind of feels like if you took a watermelon slice and you like dipped it in citric acid. In terms of other notes, I don't really get musk, sandalwood, cedarwood, or jasmine. Maybe a little bit of red berries, but uh, it's hard to say. And green pear, not really, but watermelon and melon definitely. So it does have this kind of like candy scent, but I don't like it. I prefer the melon one and even that I'm like, meh, whatever. You know what? No, I changed my mind. I don't like the melon one anymore. <laughs> Oh, I don't like either of them. There's just a lot. I don't know. I guess I'm just not a fan of any types of melons. I will let you know how long these last and if I have any change of heart. I won't. Another day, another sample test. Okay, so today we are trying out the last of the candy collection and that is peach rings. I'll put my first smell of this from the decant. I wasn't super impressed, but maybe today will be different once it's on. Yeah, I'm not a fan. It's just very citrus heavy and not in a sweet kind of way, more in a sour citric acid kind of way and like kind of florally, which I'm not the biggest fan of florals in most cases. Let's take a look at the notes. Peach, I honestly don't even really get peach. Mandarin orange, definitely. Yes, and bergamot maybe a little bit. Osmanthus, yes. Red berries, no. Cedarwood, no. Jasmine, maybe. Musk, no. All in all, I'm just indifferent to it, which is kind of how I feel about most perfumes, so it's fine. I'm sure lots of people would like it, <laughs> but I'm not one of them. Oh my god, I forgot my little guy. No, she's a little disheveled, sorry. Something, it just doesn't look right. Why are you so short? Okay, that's as good as she's gonna look, I think, so. Anyway. Oh yeah, I just remembered this was some like peach rings. It doesn't. No. It's been an hour and it's faded, so. Also, I just realized I didn't film an update when I tried on Watermelon Jam and Pinky Euphoria yesterday. They both faded within about two hours. That's about it. It seems like the performance of most of the candy collection is pretty poor. Other than Choco Break, when I tried that, I think it lasted all day. But I don't even like how it smells, so it doesn't matter. I am actually gonna try one of the perfumes from the Discovery set because I have a free wrist. So we're gonna start off with Torrid Day. Now I have not smelled tobacco vinny, so I won't be able to comment on the similarity. I'm just gonna give you my thoughts solely on Torrid Day. I still shockingly like this. It's not like one of my favorite scents of all time, but it has this like almost honey note that I think was from the dried fruit that just feels very like comforting to me. I do smell the tobacco, but it's not super bitter. I can definitely tolerate it. Yeah, it's just really nice. So I'm gonna wear it and get back to you. Wake up. So it's been about three hours. Torrid Day has basically faded, but my thoughts have kind of changed. I still like the initial dry down, but I feel like it turns almost like cloyingly sweet in a really weird way. And I'm one that loves really, really sweet scents, but this, it turns into this like very sweet and sharp florally kind of scent. It's just a little bit too much and I feel like it's giving me a headache. I don't think I would ever personally buy and wear this myself. So that's all I have to say about that. Let's go to tomorrow. It's another lazy day today, so don't look at me, okay? Today we're trying Sinful and Swevin, which are dupes of Lost Cherry and Baccarat Rouge 540, respectively. I'm probably not gonna like either of them, but I'm open to trying them. So let's start with Sinful. It does smell very similar to Lost Cherry, but it has a lighter feel to it. It's not as deep or woody. It's more focused on the cherry than Lost Cherry is. I feel like Lost Cherry is a lot more complex. There's just more going on. This is much simpler. It's not bad. Don't love it. Don't hate it. I don't really get any florals, so no jasmine or rose. Sandalwood and cedar, not really either, or vetiver. Cherry syrup, yes. Almond, yes. Cherry liqueur and cherry, yes, but not as strongly. This is mainly cherry syrup and almond. Okay, it's been like five minutes and I feel like I'm getting the florals now and I'm not happy about it. Let's just move on to Swebin. 
This doesn't smell like any of the Baccarat Rouge dupes I've ever tried. It's much more, I don't even know how to explain this. It's just lighter and overall more boring. <laughs> I'm looking at the notes and I think maybe it's the orange or the marigold. It almost has this like fresh floral that I don't get in let's say Ariana's Cloud. The florals in Cloud and other dupes that I've tried are much sharper. I don't really get any woodiness either. It's really just like a slightly orange floral scent. I honestly don't mind mind it but i don't like it as it's sitting i am starting to get a little bit more of like the fur cedar not so much the orange is fading as well but yeah i think marigold is the strongest note i will be back in a couple of hours with my final thoughts just kidding it's the next day um i don't really have much to say about the two that i tried yesterday other than they lasted about four hours otherwise my feelings towards them have not changed so that's all we're on our second last day of sample testing today we're gonna try the beekeeper and blue velvet so let's just get going we're starting off with the beekeeper okay here's the thing it's not as awful as i expected i really get the peach coming through but it is still very very green which i don't like i feel like if i smelled this on someone else i'd be like oh you smell nice you know but for me like it just doesn't work i don't like it i definitely get the green notes the pedigree nectarine and peach vetiver not really black locust i'm not sure i wouldn't be able to pinpoint it maybe some plum but most of the fruitiness that i get is nectarine and peach okay it's not awful don't hate it I I forgot to add that although I haven't tried Jo Malone's Nectarine Blossom and Honey, the beekeeper does kind of remind me of Clean's H2O Nectarine Petal. Let's move on to Blue Velvet. Now this is very rose heavy. It might make me gag. Ugh. I just hate the smell of roses. I really do. Yeah, I hate it. I hate it. I really get the oud. It's like a very smoky rose scent. Nope, nope, nope. It doesn't make me gag necessarily. Like when I smell this, I just think of like an old couch. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I guess I'll be back with updates probably tomorrow because it's already 6 p.m. Correct, it's the next day. <laughs> so the beekeeper lasted about six hours and blue velvet lasted all day. It was like two in the morning and I could still smell it and I hated it, but it's okay because today's a new day. Oh my God, I killed her. She's fine, she's fine, she's fine. Anyways, today I actually realized that I missed one of the perfumes in here because I was looking at it and I was like, there's no way I only have one left, I don't. So today we're trying Morning Rain and Heaven Speak. Heaven Speak, very excited about. Morning Rain, not. But we're just gonna get it over with. Morning Rain, here we go. Hi. Pine needles, incense, pepper, juniper, all of those I cannot stand. There's lemon though, I do like lemon. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. No. It's not revolting, like it's not making me want to throw up, but like it just smells like a forest. And like, I know some people want to smell like that. I don't. Mm -mm. I do get the lemon and the bergamot though. So I think that helps. <laughs> I actually don't smell, oh, you know what? I was going to say I don't smell incense. I do, but it is pretty faint. I actually don't really get pine needles. I do get a little bit of the pepper, but not any pine needles. Thank God. I do get a tiny bit of vanilla and amber as well and some sandalwood in the base. I'm okay with it. If it's the only thing that I had lying around, I would use it. I feel like it's fading pretty fast though because it's been maybe three minutes and I really have to dig my nose in to smell anything. I'm not complaining, but now the star of the show, Heaven Speak. I am planning on filming a video specifically dedicated to Angel Share dupes. So I'm probably not gonna talk too much about Heaven Speak today, but I am gonna give you my first impressions. Please be good, please be good, please be good. I like it, I like it, but it almost feels like Angel Share without any of the apple. I definitely don't prefer it like that, so. If this is the only Angel Share dupe that you have access to, I say go for it. It's not horribly different, but the spices are just a lot sharper than Angel Share, and it feels a lot more artificial. It feels kind of like a more masculine take on Angel Share, kind of like Paris Corners and Your Fire, Your Desire. This is kind of like in between the two in terms of masculinity, like, Angel Share and Amir Five Year Desire. Definitely not awful. I like it, but it wouldn't be my go to Angel Share dupe. I will be back in a few hours with my final thoughts on Morning Rain and Heaven Speak. Just kidding, it's been like 10 minutes and I'm back. I have some things to say. Also, ignore her. She's having a meltdown. It's fine. I still stand by everything that I say and I still agree with everything that I said, but it's not as different from Angel Share as it was when it first dried down. Also, I do have to say one important difference between Heaven Speak and Paris Corners I'm Your Fire Your Desire. Fire Your Desire has this distinct oak note on me and I don't get that here. It does say there's oak in the notes of Heaven Speak. I just personally do not get it. Definitely heavy on the cognac and a little bit of cinnamon, but I don't get the oak. I don't get sandalwood. Maybe a little bit of praline, but not really. A little bit of tonka bean and vanilla, but it's kind of hard to say because 
because the cognac and the cinnamon are so strong. But that's all that I'll say for now. I'm gonna talk more about it in the dedicated video sometime in the future. <laughs> My final little update, Heaven Speak definitely grew on me as I wore it. I kept getting whiffs of it and it was really nice. My one complaint is that it lasted three hours, which was really disappointing. And near the end when it was almost faded, it had this really weird soapy scent that didn't smell anything like the dry down. So that was a little bit strange and I was not a fan of that, but overall it was really yummy. My thoughts on morning rain haven't really changed. It lasted about five hours. So we're finally finished with the oak just sample testing. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if your taste in perfume is similar to mine, I hope that it helped narrow down any perfumes that you might have been thinking about buying and i did actually buy more fragrance samples from the scented and from the fragrance milking factory so i'll be getting those in a few days and you know i have to film a video talking about it you'll see that soon bye